signal is very strong right at his den we are exactly where he whoa wait a minute that's a little stronger over there see this hole that may be the entrance into his den same hole where I found a very strong signal last year. Right where I'm standing. Right here. So Utsunati is underground right where I'm standing. So that means there's a cavity somewhere here. Where he can make his way in through this little hole, most likely. Can't prove it, but I'm guessing that this is probably how he's getting in. Because it's uh, about the right size for him. And then he's moving underground up into this area. Not very far from the entrance hole. Yep. He is about two and a half feet from to the left of the hole. Two and a half feet to the left and uphill just a little bit. Somewhere in that area. Underground. I really wish I had a boroscope that was controllable to where I could steer down into the hole and look around, but I guess, you know we've tried that before. It didn't work super well. Um, but at least we know he's in his hibernation spot. Very cool. All right, well, I found Utsunati, and he, um, he's moved about 50 feet in the last uh, week and a half, and he is underground in his hibernaculum, and I believe he's going to stay there until spring. Now, what's really interesting to note here is he is in the exact same spot that he has used the last two years. So this is the third year Utsunati has used the same spot for hibernation. That is very important to know. It tells us that, as I've said before, these animals are creatures of habit they use the same paths they go to the same places um, at the same times every year really amazing creatures timber rattlesnakes now let's go find zoe She's down in the valley.
I'm going to try a different light. Ah, much better. That one doesn't cause any interference. Don't know why the other one does. Straight down. Ooh, it's getting much louder now. I'm going right towards her. But where is she? Oh boy, the ground's really spongy here. Really spongy. Oh, here we go. There's an old root ball here. I would bet she's in there. This looks really familiar. I think this is the same root ball where I found her a little week and a half ago. And just like with Utsunati, she's underground. Right in that area. Right in the middle of the frame there. Strongest signal is coming from that point. Yep. Somewhere in here. All right. Let's collect my data and then get back up this dark mountain. All right, well, it looks like Zoe has moved about 170 feet back to the north from her last location on the side of the road. And uh, it, it's interesting that she is back in the exact same location where she was uh, two, lake, uh, two locates ago. And um, I'm beginning to wonder if she's going to overwinter here. I think she probably will. Take a look at the site. It is uh, it's an old root clump similar to uh, the site where she hibernated on the other side of the mountain for the last two years. And uh, it's an old rotten tree. Um, there are some living trees coming out here actually and some mountain laurel, very similar. This big mountain laurel here, very similar to where she's hibernated the last two years with under, underneath mountain laurel roots most likely. And uh, so, I don't know, only time will tell if she's gonna stay here or not. Very interesting. Why is she here this, this time? Why not? Why didn't she trek over the mountain? Don't know. Well, hopefully we'll see her in the spring and maybe we can find out. Let's head up this mountain carefully. It's really dark. And of course, very precarious. Gotta go straight up the hill. Bust through it. Light the webs. Well, this is where I started. Car's still here. It's a good sign. All right. All in a day's work, tracking rattlesnakes. Wow, this is a welcome find after that hike up this dark mountain. Check it out, endangered species chocolate. It was in my backpack, a little tiny piece. Look at that, oh yeah. Now that is a nice reward, especially after finding two rattlesnakes on this dark mountain. Mm. Mm-mm. That is good.
forgot to mention endangered species chocolate the reason I like endangered species chocolate is because Whenever you buy a chocolate bar from the Endangered Species Chocolate Company, how many times am I going to say that? Endangered Species Chocolate, so you'll remember, you uh, support the conservation of, yes, endangered species. So, buy yourself some Endangered Species Chocolate today and help wildlife. I was not paid to say that by the Endangered Species Chocolate Company. I just really like Endangered Species Chocolate. Now, I better concentrate on driving and not talking about chocolate or I'm going to drive off the mountain. Thumb in the 